Russia is seeing gains from its bombardment in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says Moscow's goal is to destroy everything in the Donbass region. Zelensky says he would consider direct talks with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, but there are conditions. Moscow has questioned Kiev's sincerity for dialogue, but its deputy foreign minister says Russia is open to talks with the parties that intend to broker peace. Kieran McQuillan has more from Lviv. Now, there have been no formal negotiations in talks between Ukraine and Russia since late March. And in the past, the messaging from President Zelensky is he will negotiate with President Putin at any time in any format. Now, this is clearly designed to put Zelensky on at the same level as President Putin, which is something the Russian president would be keen to avoid. In Davos, at the World Economic Forum, he said he currently sees no willingness on the part of Russia to resume negotiations on ending the three-month war. Zelensky says Russia must pull back to its pre-war positions as a first step before diplomatic talks can begin. Now, as Russia continues to make more incremental gains in the Donbass, this is a negotiating line that Moscow is unlikely to agree to any time soon. And talking about the Donbass, down there, there is no doubt that Russia is throwing everything that it can to try and take the Luhansk district and the rest of the Donetsk area. In Servodonetsk, six people were killed yesterday in a missile strike at a chemical plant which the Ukrainians say was deliberately targeted by Russian missiles. Serhii Hadai, who's the governor of the region, said the situation is very serious. He's given some indications before that about 15,000 people are in shelters down there. And it's not just Servodonetsk, but it's other cities that are in, in the Donbass that are being pounded. Gadai said that Russian soldiers freed up from Mariupol, Kharkiv and Donetsk are coming up to join the front lines in Luhansk. The road between Lysyshchensk and the city of Bakhmut to the southwest are, is, widely, is widely considered to be crucial to keeping Ukrainian troops in the area supplied and it's under constant shelling right now. The Ukrainian governor told the AP that 90% of the Luhansk area is now under Russian control. This is Kira McQuillan for Associated Press for CGTN in Lviv, Western Ukraine.